It's a good problem to have, right? But I think we understand pretty much what all these uh, therapies do. You know, like when you when you have a patient that has a first or second or third relapse, we know that they're likely to respond to different combinations, but the duration of response in the PFS is not more than two years uh, in some cases. So that would be a good PFS in that setting. Uh, so we are definitely looking for therapies that again can give these patients long term uh, long term benefit, right? I think the responses that we see with CAR are very amazing initially. I mean, like you you treat a patient with a BCMA CAR and you do a bone marrow a month after, and that bone marrow is clean of myeloma. So um, we're looking at ways of making that persist, right, and and last longer. We don't understand very well where the mechanisms of resistance, uh, but we know that myeloma, as you keep treating myeloma, therapy after therapy, the cells become more resistant, more difficult to treat. So we're hoping, again, that if we, we offer these treatments earlier on, that we're going to get uh, better results, and that is being tested. So I think uh, when those studies mature and we get the data from the studies, then we would know better uh, if we would want to sequence those, you know, want to sequence something like CAR, for example, earlier on in the in the in the course of the disease. For now, you know, CAR is not approved, uh, and certainly it's not approved. It's not going to be approved initially for to treat the earlier uh, stages of the of the disease. Uh, so we sequence what we have available, but um, I am I am really hopeful, you know, seeing the results uh, that we're getting with CAR T in in heavily stressed populations. I'm, I'm hopeful that when we treat earlier, that we're going to get a better results than what we get with you know the combinations that we have available right now.